Oke lu semuanya, balik lagi di video nomor tim game Redek. Di video sebelumnya kan udah berhasil nih bikin mobil luar angkasa. Jadi enak tuh kalau pakai mobil luar angkasa kemana-mananya. Gak usah pentingin lagi oksigen. Karena di dalam mobilnya tuh udah memproduksi oksigen juga. Terus berhasil masuk nih ke markas militer luar angkasa. Tapi cara masuk itu harus pakai spacesuitnya yang militer, yang luar rank. Mereka pergi masuk ke dalam. Ini dapat beberapa blueprint item gitulah. Nah sekarang disuruh lanjut ke kapal luar angkasa Normandi. Itu misi utamanya. Oke, sini kan misinya jauh nih. 3000 meter atau 3 kilo. Berarti perkiraannya tuh kita bakal pindah base lagi kayaknya. Udah bikin beberapa item sih. Coba tahu butuh di sana. Kamu membawa item-item yang udah diolah. Udah hampir semuanya di explore sih Jadi kalau berak Oh, dua kilo lagi. Apa darah ini orang? If I'm not mistaken, there's an accelerating transport station ahead. Apparently, they plan to use it for the evacuation of Normandy, although it's hardly possible to do that. 
These stations help small spaceships gain initial acceleration when departing from the liner, but they are of no use for long-distance flights. There's just one question that tickles my mind. Why are there so many damaged coffins? Aside from that, these coffins have limbs, weapons, and undoubtedly, active AI units, judging by the weak signals coming from their remains. To be honest, I'd rather not know what all of this means. As far as I know, the Breath Edge Funeral Agency is in the business of burying corpses, not creating them with killer robots. But these coffins are definitely not counterfeit. Oh. Oh, itu pecah gitu ya. Gak tau nabrak apa. Ini si pesawatnya itu bawa di jenazah gitu. died heroically fighting oh, yeah. with coffins, which goes beyond any and all logic. On the other hand, the fact that you are still alive goes beyond any and all logic as well. In this regard, there's a chance that the coffins might be aggressive. It's recommended that you look around carefully and try to find some survivors. Adam Slamatid. There should be no guns on such a shuttle. Apparently, they made an exception for Normandy. Most of the ship systems are functioning nominally, but it will take a little effort if we are going to fly away from here. The steering wheel is broken, but the rest is in order. This is the Normandy autopilot course. We can't change it without a living captain in any way, not even with a handy scrapper. However, it's highly unlikely that the captain calculated such a complex route for no particular reason, so we'd better not touch it at all. I need some time for analysis. We can't do without some repair work here. That should work, I hope. You already repaired such an engine oh. once, but it looked different somehow. That's great. It looks perfect. Yeah, push station, yeah, gitu. Almost done. Mm. Great job. Unfortunately, the station's control units are still broken, but the good news is that you don't need them to launch Normandy at all. I just wanted to keep you busy while I was doing some important calculations. What about the other? The good guy. Of taking selfies can lead to no good. By the way, why haven't we found any cameras oh, yet? Don't that. So I think I'm going to the Tora. The Trassi system.
Oke. Okay. Dan dapat nih satu. It definitely didn't thrust into here by itself. Nyari resi ya Nyari resi ya Please note, the coffin is almost intact. Maybe we could fiddle with it a bit. Uh, tembak lah. I've heard that Captain Shepard is a woman, but I wouldn't want to check it. Another dead robot. That is, if robots can be considered dead at all. It seems that the deceased was in a hurry and tried to neutralize a coffin filled with buckwheat. It doesn't look like explosive weaponry. However, seems like someone was smuggling grain. Judging by the makeup stains on the wall, we can estimate the approximate flight speed of the deceased female. Or, to be more exact, the deceased male, which is a bit strange. It's unlikely that all these robots appeared here by accident. Baru ada satu. Oh, ini steering wheel.
Nice, I don't like it. What would you mean, no? Uh, we can uh, set it wheel. Yeah, I thought we can have one. Uh, no filtration system. I checked the course routed by the captain. There's not enough information, but it seems that he was able to calculate a route through several accelerating stations straight to the core. We can get some energy for a single warp jump there, and let's hope that Normandy survives this. That's it. Space, here we come. Start the engine. What are you I apologize for the restart window. I'm not good with abrupt acceleration. I hope we don't need parts of the ship that fell off along the way that much. In any case, Normandy won't survive one more acceleration or any flight at all. I suggest we find a place to dock and inspect the shuttle. By the way, I'd like to note that leaving the shuttle and going into outer space at such a short distance from the core is impossible unless you want to turn into jelly. Oh. Tunggu error tu. 
और ऐसे जाता है We don't have enough engine paranoia is a type of chronic psychosis common for adulthood. Either your interlocutor knows something we don't or she's an old woman. तो यार ये डॉकी The ship won't hold up long. So take your time. तो कुछ बता नहीं चाहिए या तो दिखा रहा हूँ Rumah itu langsung error semua ni. Si navigasinya sama si sambil alterasi kan belum dibenarin pada. Di sana bagaimana pesawatnya hancur semua. Oke, dengerin dulu berarti. Nabrak nabrak ni. There's a system for accurate docking installed here. That's great. Or perhaps for not so accurate docking. It looks like the engines have failed completely now and will never get to the accelerating station. The engines have failed. Please go to the reception. Welcome. Go to the center, please. Oh, oh, oh. Error. Error. Welcome. This is not just a garage module, but a surviving diagnostic station. However, it doesn't sound like it's functioning nominally. Oh, that is a mic. I'm doing it. It looks like he was accidentally killed by the diagnostic station. I can't find any other reason for this injury. This worker apparently saw the death of the previous one and started running away, not looking where he was running, and without a helmet. Graffiti module. The diagnostics panel works, although this part clearly doesn't belong here. Oh, 
ini ngomong tadi Sorry, gitu sih. I think at this rate we'll achieve nothing because this thing is short circuiting the diagnostic station's brains. What now? Put it back. Are you messing around with me? Put it. Oh yes, back in. Oh, you jerk. This diagnostic station is faulty, but we don't have any other one. The excess voltage is melting its circuits. You need to bring it to its senses somehow. Bring you back to your senses, you dirty undies with a helmet. If you don't stop coming at me. We can't do anything here. You better look for the remnants of your dignity, you lousy pajamas. You don't say this can go up either. Oke, okay, makanan minuman banyak. Tahu udah musuh. It's not recommended to use elevators during a fire, earthquake, or the diagnostic station self-torture. diagnostic station and this brain is malfunctioning you are the one who's malfunctioning you funerary diaper what to do the central processor i thought such a fragile thing should be protected somehow and not be just sticking out of the floor like this i stick out an in how it looks like we'll have to remove the excess voltage first the processor control panel we can restart the whole station with it Central processor protection control console. It's not working. No, something's wrong. You can open door. Hmm, I see. Someone rem So, nobody tried to run diagnostics on the coffins. Rather, on the contrary, they got the coffins burned because they were trying to decrypt them. Probably someone like us needed data from their sensors about the location of some particular object. Well, okay, it's a room. Sampai melepuh gitu There should be a voice control module at the station here as well as its speech filters Maybe that's why it keeps calling us names What kind of monsters played an 18 hour recording of this song? <laughs> It looks like this recording is the reason why the station's entire voice box burned down and it became so aggressive. Let's make it dope. What happened, let's see. Like in the Welcome to the diagnostic center. Yes. Please 
Please go to the reception. Welcome. Oke, okay, sampai sini dulu videonya. Makasih semua yang udah nonton. Sampai ketemu di video selanjutnya.